Providence Police Department is investigating one of their officers after he allegedly assaulted a woman at an abortion rally while he was off duty on Friday. A video from the event appears to show a man hitting Jennifer Rourke, the Rhode Island State Senate opponent of Jean Lugo. Lugo was arraigned on assault and disorderly conduct charges Saturday and released on his own recognizance, the Providence Journal reported. Lugo did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. He announced on Saturday that he was dropping out of the Senate race. I will not be running for any office this fall, Lugo posted on Twitter, shortly before deactivating his account. Rourke, a Democrat, previously shared the video, which is dark and blurry, but clearly shows a physical altercation unfolding. Emma reproductive rights organizer and state Senate candidate. Last night, after speaking at a row rally, my Republican opponent, a police officer, violently attacked me, she wrote with the clip. This is what it is to be a black woman running for office. I won't give up. PPD has since suspended Lugo with pay and launched an internal investigation. The officer has served for three years and placed on administrative leave with pay this morning, pending a criminal investigation and administrative review, they shared in a statement before confirming the identity of the officer. Lugo did not deny the claims, according to the Boston Globe. As an officer that swore to protect and serve our communities, I, unfortunately, saw myself in a situation that no individual should see themselves in," Lugo reportedly told the publication in a statement. I stepped in to protect someone that a group of agitators was attacking. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza also commented on the alleged assault, noting that he can't share much information due to the state's law enforcement officer's Bill of Rights. I've seen the video and it's immensely disturbing. Those responsible will be held fully accountable, Alorza wrote on Twitter. Friday's rally came hours after the Supreme Court's 6-3 ruling to overturn 1973's Roe v. Wade and the constitutional right to abortion. The decision reverses nearly 50 years of precedent and gives states the power to pass their own laws around abortion. Since the ruling, Arkansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Missouri and South Dakota have already banned abortion in their states, after putting trigger bans in place that governors enacted after the SCOTUS ruling. Protests have since erupted around the country, and President Joe Biden has spoken out against the ruling, which he called the realization of an extreme ideology and a tragic error by the Supreme Court. The decision comes after the SCOTUS opinion was leaked to Politico last month. A poll conducted by CNN has since found that 66% of Americans did not want Roe v. Wade to be overturned. 